Hello there, my name is Jake White, and I will be doing the Village of Baxter today. This poem is by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. And as you, you can tell, this poem is about, well, a blacksmith. And, how, and not just about for the blacksmith, but how he is in the other people's eyes, and how he acts about his family. So, let's get to the under spreading chestnut tree in the village of these snakes, the smith of mighty man is he with large and sinewy hands, and the muscles of his brawny arms are strong as iron bands. His hand is crisp and black and long, his face is like a tan. His brow is wet with honest sweat, and he pumps for every can, and looks a whole world in the face where he owes not any man. We can't wreak out from one to night, you can hear his bellows blow. You can hear him swing his heavy sled with measured beat and slow, like a, stack, like a sexton ringing the village bell when the evening sun is low. And children coming home from school look in at the open door. They love to see the flaming porch and hear the bellows roar, and catch the burning sparks that fly like chaff from a threshing floor. He goes on Sunday to the church and sits among his boys. He hears the parson pray and preach, and hears his daughter's voice, singing in the village choir, and it makes his heart rejoice. It sounds to him like a mother's voice, singing in paradise. He needs to think of her once more, how in the grave she lies. And with his heart of hand, he wipes a tear out of his eyes. Twelve rejoicing sorrowing, on with the life he goes. Each morning sees him task begin, each evening sees him close. Something attempted, something done, has earned a night's repose. Thanks, thanks to thee, my worthy friend, for the lesson thou hast taught. This as a flaming forge of life, our fortunes must be wrought. This honored sounding ample shape, each burning need and thought. Then, thank you for listening to, to the Village Blacksmith, and, and if you want to see me the whole poem, just in case if, if I might have got this wrong, just look at the fifth grade spelling book.